Hey guys, Jaden here. Moving into World 2 of Donkey Kong Country. I do remember these levels. If you haven't seen the first episode, um, I'll put a link in the description to the playlist. It's definitely a very... Um, bringing back a lot of memories, that's for sure. Oh, the frog! I don't know how helpful he's going to be on this level, though. I remember there being levels like this where the lights go out. I wonder if this is the this is the world. Oh, beautiful! Give me those bananas! Give me those bananas! Emu. Oh, here we go. I remember these games. I never knew the most efficient way to get these ostriches. I'm sure there's a way, and I'm sure you guys are going to tell me how bad this is, but... I'm just going to go ahead and say that I don't need the lives anyway, because I'm hopefully not going to die. As much as I used to. As a kid. Sometimes I wonder, sort of like, the people who invented Donkey Kong, you know, like, who would have thought about an ape and a little monkey being friends, you know, with ostriches and rhinos and, like, if you came up with that idea, someone would just be like, oh, that's ridiculous, stupidest idea ever. But then it went on to be one of the biggest game franchises in the world. Same as Mario, I mean, like, a plumber. A plumber that goes into pipes. Honestly. But there you have it. Alright, I think I've been through this area. This is really easy. That was definitely really easy. I really hope this is the minecart world. But then again, I don't want it to happen too soon. Oh, it is. Yes! I used to love these levels. Didn't mean I was good at them, but I used to love them. Here we go. I remember they used to get pretty hard though, pretty fast. But maybe that was just me being a little new. Oh. Go! Also be interested, what's your favourite Donkey Kong game? I haven't played all of them, like I said, I haven't played Tropical Freeze. Um, it got good reviews, but it didn't get the best reviews from, um, from the industry or users. Obviously, Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3 were very popular. Oh. I played Donkey Kong... Um, oh, I forget what it's called. There's one on the, the DS that you, used to, you swing around on, like little pegs in the walls. I did enjoy that. I, that didn't get the best reviews either, but I did enjoy it. I could never have done this like this when I was oh, a kid playing this. I swear I would have done this a thousand times. And done. That's how it's done. That is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Cave level, huh? Is there a secret here? Nope. Remember this? There's gonna be small things that I remember. What is 
Maybe I don't. What do I, what do I need that tire for? Oh. Yep. That'll do it. Like I said in the first episode, guys, this isn't anything serious. I'm not trying to do this in any certain time or get every bonus. I'm just doing this to have some fun. Is there a bonus in here? No. So if I die, I apologise. But this is just me playing the game as I would without the camera. Oh, but having a chat to you guys as well. Oh no. I think Donkey Kong 2 um, it was a really good game. Like the, the, the worlds are so much better, like the ships and, and, the, and the, the sky levels and the, the hive level with all the honeycomb you could climb up. And I think it was just really immersive for the time anyway. I never liked this one as much. Oh, it's a secret. Don't need that. Can I get up there with this? I can. <coughs> Honestly, guys, there might also be a point where I just... If I see a bonus, I'm, I'm not even going into it, because... The only reason you go into bonuses is to get lives, or to get things like this, which you don't really need to complete the game. There's nothing at the end of this game saying how many bonuses you did, or how many coins you collected, or bananas, or whatever. As long as you finish it. Hopefully th this is bringing back as many memories as it is for me. Get up. Oh, I need it. Dang it. Get on there. Yes. Oh, gee. I don't really need that frog. I think it just did more harm than good last time I got it. Come on, Diddy. Save the day. Save the day. Yes. The other thing I liked about the Donkey Kong Country 2. Is he get to play as Dixie? And she got to swing her hair and whatnot so you could fly, or semi fly, sort of glide um, around certain areas. And you couldn't actually. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that this is the only Donkey Kong game that you can play as Donkey Kong. Or the only like, main series Donkey Kong. Which is pretty funny considering it's called Donkey Kong. Because, um, yeah, the second one you only get to play Diddy and um, Dixie because you're saving Donkey Kong. And I never got, th I never owned the third one, but I have played it. And you, 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 you play as Dixie, I'm pretty sure. And the um, that other one. Oh. I'm talking way too much, I'm not even focusing. This should be easier than this. This is already getting painful. Especially when you keep dying in the same spot over and over. <coughs> Get here, Diddy. I need you, boy. I seem to be a bit of an impatient person as well. You guys are probably just pulling your hair out watching me play this game. Just, but I tend to be really risky in everything I do. I don't know why. I think it's because I just get... Not frustrated, but just like get bored if I do the same... Like, take my time. That's why I don't really like games where you have to take your time doing much. I really enjoy platform games where you can just sort of just sprint to the end. I 
think I remember this point when I was a kid and how many times I used to push that tire off that ledge. See, what's that, I mean, what's the point of this bonus? It's just like, you get like 20 bananas. Oh, well it did shoot me out at the end, so that's one bonus. Finally! What have we got, a minecart? Please be a minecart level. Stop and go station. Oh, I remember this. And I haven't played these in so long. I remember there's a point where you have to press that, and you're like, I think it's towards the end. Where you have to make this massive run for ages, and you have to keep hitting those things. Oh, keep hitting those stop barrels and running through these guys. Oh! There's just no stopping in this level. Alright, I'm gonna go with Diddy because I think he's faster, he's easier to deal with, that's for sure. Halfway, that's good. Always a good sign. Secret? Oh. There's gonna be some that I just remember in the back of my mind somewhere. See, like, there's really no point doing this. I don't need the bananas. Like, if I need the bananas, I might do it, but... Oh, I keep forgetting you can't kill those things by rolling into them. Ooh. Where are you, Diddy? I can hear you. Oh, Ooh. there you are. Right, there you are. Ooh. Where are you? I can't... Oh, maybe I missed it, I don't know. Oh, what am I doing? There's just so many Ooh. flashes. What's happening? Oh, jeez. Oh, Oh, thank goodness. I don't know where the O was, but... Alright, candy. Probably don't even need a save, to be honest. I nearly finished World 2. Oh, maybe there used to be a glitch here. Not here. I can hear Diddy. I need Diddy. Yep. There used to be a glitch. Yeah, this was it. Get Diddy out. Maybe you got patched. It was, you could get like infinite lives, I think. If you just sat here, it used to. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Already wasted. Diddy! Oh, yes! What happens if you. Hmm. Oh, that... What the? Oh, you get something here, don't you? That's it. It's higher. Probably to another bonus I don't need. I think you get the frog or something in this one, though. There it is. That was a bit sketchy. What is this? Ah. Uh, A. R. E. Rare. But that didn't spell rare. Swordfish. I forget what this mini game is. Oh, yeah, that's right. Just countless swordfish. I, the most painful thing about this is there's no like best way to do it. It's just free for all. Who knows where the bonus rooms are? There's two. Well, who knows how many there are? Who knows what's in what direction? There's a bonus level here, a big one, I don't know what that did, by two. I don't know if I should have got that at the start or at the end. Oh. And it goes for a really long time. Still got 40 seconds left. Oh, I'm trying to move as fast as I can, but... Alright, let's go at the top. Oh, you can move up fast. What's up here? What have we got? 16 seconds. I think from memory the ostrich is, ostrich is the best way to get lives. You could always get the most, well I could always get the most from it. 469, I forget how many I got on that ostrich before. In the first world. Alright, 
TNT. And the graphics for this game as well <coughs> were um, like incredible for the time. I think it was like one of the first games that really made use of the the um, the architecture of the Super NES with colours and graphics. Um, like looking back at it now, obviously it's pixelated as all hell, but. Um, this is actually 240p. It was the native resolution of um, the Super NES, which is crazy in today's terms. Like, oh, I'm playing this on the on the classic, which is still 240p, but it upscales it to 720p. So, and the the obviously it's a four by three. Uh, ratio so you got these pillars on the side which Nintendo lets you choose to be whatever you well not whatever you want but it gives you a few options or just black and I think black's pretty boring <clears throat> I'm not gonna fourth that <laughs> who do you think I am idiot all right what lovely advice do you have today cranky uh, this here's Rhino country in jungle hijinks stick to the treetops to earn extra lives i was told that if you bounce on eight consecutive baddies you'll get an extra life if you get stuck come back and see me i think he just tells you where some bonuses are <coughs> oh. oh i remember this being painful painful boss back in the day it's this it's almost the same um backdrop as the last boss Oh. Come on, let me hit you. That's it. Boom! I think there's one more. Oh no, he gets faster. Oh! Come on, don't die, don't die. How did I not hit it? Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! Well done, DK. And that is world two done. This is happening a lot quicker than I than I used to play it as a kid. All right, what have we got in here? You know, like as a kid, how you, you used to play a game lots and you used to do the first levels lots and the further into the game it got, the less and less you got to play it because you were just a noob, so you never got to reach that far. That's sort of happening now. Like I remember playing this world, but I'm remembering less and less. So anyway, that's it for episode two, guys. If you liked and enjoyed it, um, Leave a comment, like, and subscribe for more. I'm going to jump into episode 3 for World 3 next time. See you guys.